Hi, kid, and welcome to this summer themed kid time story time. Oh, Super Sand Castle Saturday? That sounds like my kind of story. Let's dive in. All right, Fuchsia Fish set so, so we shall. Let's see what Super Sand Castle Saturday is all about. It was a hot and sunny Saturday, the very best kind of all. A super day for a sand castle contest. Okay, everybody, shouted Larry, the lifeguard. You need to finish building your castle before the tide comes in. Well, of course, we don't want the tide washing all our work away. Oh, we got a whole group of kids here having a good time on the beach. This one looks like he's doing yoga. She looks like she's doing yoga also. He looks like he's just hanging out watching. She looks like she's sunbathing. She looks like she's uh, looking, scanning the shore for dolphins. And he's taking a nice healthy walk after having some chicken on the beach. How do I know? I just know. Today, I'm giving out prizes for the tallest tower, the deepest moat, and the longest wall. Ready? And Larry blew his whistle. Oh, see? See, we got the prizes right here. Oh, I got to scooch the book over so you can see the prizes. This is the one for the deepest moat. No, the tallest tower and the longest. Okay, I have no idea which one's which. But one of the awards is a spoon. One of them is a tool thingy. And one looks like a pail. Maybe that's a shovel? Shovel and spoon? Yes. Oh, there's another person back here going, hey, I want to join in. All right, so we've got the three who apparently are the ones who are going to really dig in and do this. So, here they are. Juan, Sarah, and Laura. Couldn't wait to get started. They filled their pails and got right to work. Oh, yeah. Let's see. She's already started over here. That's Laura. Sarah's already building up high. Juan has his thing going on. They, I noticed that the three of them are engaging in three very different architectural styles. They filled their pails and got right to work. Sarah wanted to win the prize. Of course she does. For the tallest tower. So, she started building up, 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 up. But Juan's tower was getting tall, too. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'll bet my tower is taller than yours, said Juan. Let's use our shovels to measure them. Great idea, agreed Sarah. Okay. All right. So we're doing a little teamwork here. My tower is three shovels tall, said Sarah. Oh, mine's only two shovels tall, said Juan. Sadly. <laughs> But I have to say, Juan, I'm really liking the shell, the seashell flare, and the little curly cute top thing you have going on there. It's, and, and I like that it's arches. I, I'm giving you extra props on the architectural touches. Then, Juan tried to dig the deepest moat. Nearby, Laura was digging a deep moat as well. Let's see whose moat is deeper, said Laura. Our shovels are too big, so let's use our spoons to measure. Okay, said Juan. So they're measuring and they're measuring. So he's using his two little spoons. He's got one giant dormant spoon there. Let's see what happens. So Juan shouted, my moat is two spoons deep. Laura, called Sarah. I just finished my wall. Let's see who's his longest. It will be easy to measure if we use our feet. Okay, all right. There's a lot of competition going on over here. So they quickly walked over heel to toe along their walls. So the problem here is, is that if they have slightly different feet sizes, see Juan's, Juan's feet are a little bit longer than Sarah's feet. And you see, they look bigger, so I don't know, they're gonna have to work that out. They quickly walked heel to toe along their wall. Five steps long, Laura shouted. All right, sorry, said Sarah, mine is seven steps long. I win. Hmm, hmm, okay. Larry blew his whistle again. All right, everyone. He shouted, time to see who won. So Larry measured and measured, and then he measured some more. Okay, measuring, measuring, measuring. Okay, that was Laura, that was Sarah. I'm trying to keep everybody's name straight here. That's Larry measuring, because the best measure is a tape measure, not your feet, because you're gonna have different feet sizes. Juan has the tallest tower, announced Larry. Oh, okay, <coughs> let's see here. 48 inches for Juan's tower, 44 inches for Sarah's tower, 40 inches for Laura's tower. But why, Larry? Sarah asked. My tower was three shovels high and Juan's was only two. Aha, uh -huh, I see. They're starting to see the differences in their measurements. Your tower was more shovels high, Sarah, Larry explained, but your shovel is shorter than Juan's. Oh, see? 
So there is the big difference. So see, you're not using the same thing to measure. Now, if you had measured both things with the same shovel, then it'd be the same. Okay, now we understand. Laura has the deepest moat, said Larry. Okay, so Juan's moat was 12 inches. Laura's was 15 inches. Sarah's was 10 inches. Juan's moat mo measured more spoons deep than Laura's, but his spoon is shorter than Laura's. You see what's, what's happening here, right? They keep making the same mistake. They're measuring with different measurements. And Laura has longer feet, but her five-step wall still didn't beat Sarah's seven-step one. So Sarah has the longest wall. So here's Laura's wall, 30 inches. Sarah's wall, 35 inches. Juan's wall, 24 inches. But see, it's what I suspected. Their foot size was not the same. So that was the difference in the measurement. Once again, we need to use an actual tape measure. And you can use your feet to measure stuff, but it has to be the same foot. Spoons and shovels and people's feet can all be different sizes, says Larry. Oh, I just said that. Hey, Larry, you and I, we see eye to eye. But an inch is always an inch. Mine is a little more than one spoon deep, moaned Lara, Laura. But what does it matter, Laura? We know the truth now. Hurry up, you guys, Larry called. The tide's coming in fast. Wow, look at those beautiful. They did a good job. I hope they're not moaning about the whole measurement thing. I mean, they all won something, what, right? One was taller, one was deeper, one was something else. Ah, time to splash anyway. Aren't we hot from being out on the sand all that time? And that was that. Oh, so that this, for adults and kids, it tells us to measure things using the same. Let's see if I can find a fun fact here. Here's an interesting fun fact to try. Body lengths. Have your friends take turns lying down on the floor and measuring each other from head to toe using straws, then a ruler. Make a chart that shows the length of each person in terms of each unit of measurement. Oh, sure, you could try that. And now you know how to win the day at the Super Sandcastle Saturday, don't you? Yeah, you gotta make sure that you're using the proper measuring tools and equipment to make sure that you come out ahead or below or up high or whatever your goal is. Exactly. Well, have an awesome Super Saturday or whatever day it is where you are. Yeah, and thanks for visiting us here at Kid Time Story Time and getting your mathy mathematics on. Oh, Stuart Murphy. He's a famous guy, isn't he? Oh, he's a, he's a famous math author. Wow. Very impressive, storyteller. Very impressive. Bloop, bloop.